What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul and today I am in Tokyo as you can probably tell from what's behind me that is Tokyo Station and I am here today to film in honor of October spooky month. I'm going to be taking you to probably the most cursed spot in all of Japan. While I walk to the spot I'm going to tell you the story of the head of Taira no Masakado and why the resting place of his head is the most cursed spot in Japan. Our story begins in the year 940 when Taira no Masakado, who was a warrior with bloodlines tying to the imperial family, held a short and ill-fated rebellion. He was found and allegedly beheaded at the spot, the very spot where we are headed right now. And as was the custom of the time, the head was taken to Kyoto to be displayed. Now the legend goes that the head, not wanting this treatment, flew from Kyoto back to this spot. And the local villagers were so impressed by this feat that they washed the head and interred it and built a shrine for the head. And that is the marker we are heading to now. Now the head rested there peacefully for many centuries until 1616 when the Tokugawa shogunate was building Edo Castle and had that shrine moved. However, they had the wherewithal to leave the head and its marker where it was and so nothing untoward happened. However, when we reached the 20th century, Tokyo government officials weren't planning so carefully, let's say. So, in 1923, the Great Kanto earthquake leveled the city, and so there was a great rebuilding process. And at that time, Tokyo officials decided that they would build a finance ministry building at the site of where Taira no Masakado's head was interred. They basically leveled the site completely, and it was obliterated, not there anymore. And over the next two years, there were 14 deaths from illness or accident within the ministry, and countless others who had strained leg and foot injuries. So the ministry went ahead and rebuilt the marker to appease the angry spirit. Our story continues in the 1940s when, after World War II, the U.S. occupying forces in Tokyo decided that they were going to bulldoze the site to create a parking lot. The story goes that a bulldozer overturned, killing the driver, and eventually that plan was scrapped. Fast forward to the latter half of the 20th century when a building was made for a, a savings and loan or investment trust company was built there and they didn't build on the marker itself, but part of their office building covered an area where that used to be the entrance to the shrine. And office employees seated closest to the marker were falling mysteriously ill. So the office went through the trouble of rearranging the desks so that they would all be facing the marker out of respect for the head of Taira no Masakado. So, as you can tell, we are walking through a tremendously important financial and business district here in Tokyo. This is some of the most expensive real estate in the world, but as it stands now, we are almost to the site where that marker lays and no one is going to build on that because if you try, the likelihood of being cursed seems pretty high. So we are now in one of the streets in between Tokyo Station and Otemon, or the Ote Gate of the Imperial Palace, which you can see part of behind me. And I'm going to head up this ramp in front of me here to the site of the marker.
So, as you can see, it is a very well-kept site. There were fresh flowers there. People come and pay their respects. And it's very, very spotlessly clean as well. And according to this sign on the site, it has gone through several renovations, including the most recent in 2021, basically making the site look how it is right now. So if you come to Tokyo and you're interested in visiting Japan's most famous cursed spot, where allegedly a head flew all the way from Kyoto to that very place, and where any attempt to build there in the future was fraught with accidents, mistake, and illness, I recommend you check it out. And since the Imperial Palace is a pretty common place to come and visit, it's right over there. It wouldn't be that far out of your way. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this spooky month edition of my channel and I want to thank you very much for watching this particular episode. I'll catch you next week. Peace.